I'm going to show you how real I am about that last video I made. My people's told me, the first one that told me something, he said, I fall into the category of the ones that don't have no camera. And I told him, you keep on keeping on. So what you do, since you don't have no camera and you want to be part of this here movement, you type something positive in the bottom of the screen. And you send that video to everybody you know. Because you might not have no camera, but you still got the power to pass it on. And I ain't lying. If you get some knowledge from any video, from any one of my friends or me, and you don't have no camera, and you like the message that we're pushing out, because one of my best people on here, he don't have no camera. And I, you know, held him back, no. He been there a long time, just like a long, like, like Hitchcock and, and so many other people that watch me who don't have camera. You know what I mean? I mean, I can go on with some more, but I haven't seen, trust me, when I read, I can't read everything. And I don't know when some of my people get to see my video until they leave a message on my page. So I really don't read all the comments every time. But the first few people, when the video comes out, they always get their comments. I try to get their comments, you know, answered. Now, I put out so many videos that I can't do, you know, check every single thing. So like I'm saying, when I tell people they've been tubed, that's closing the door on them. And if there's some power behind it, and it makes some sense to you, and it ain't stupid, dumb, then you pass it on. And that's what this whole new thing is all about. It's about watching a video and passing it on. Learning something from somebody. You know what? I, you know, I understand what he said. I'm going to play this for my buddy. My buddy, come on. Play it for him. Send it to him. You know what I'm saying? Pass it on. Because... Pretty soon ain't gonna be no books. And if, the, if, if we are the elders, then we're gonna tell our stories. And, and then people out there are gonna learn from them. Rather they want to hear it or not. We're gonna pass it on. Same thing with the Oscar Grant thing. The story can die. If you just say, you've been tubed. Huh. Slam the door on them. Man, that's powerful. He tubed them and shut it down. And most people think when you close the door, that's it. But the knowledge that they leave behind the door, somebody else got to walk up and open the door. And, oh, wow, look at this in there. Oh, that knowledge is in there. Damn. And either they pass it on or close the door. I'm tired of sitting here doing videos and then nobody sees the video. But I want to listen to some music or something. Or the copyright thing everybody's been bitching about. And I want you to I want you to understand this, and this is the greatest test to YouTube. For new new YouTube box, the very new YouTube box, YouTube box, the new YouTube box. Put some provocative shit on. Then do your video. Do your very next video completely opposite and see what happens. You first timers come on and say something negative about somebody. Somebody big like um, you know Nancy Pelosi. Pelosi's wrong or say something big about somebody on TV. Say Tyra Banks is whatever. Say something about Oprah or somebody like that and look what happened. And then Say something about how the little girl down the street got beat up uh, on her way to school for her lunch money. See, the story about the girl getting beat up for lunch money probably won't resonate and get hit until you know, October, you know, five years from now. But if you got a picture of the girl getting beat up for her lunch money, woo! That's funny. That's news. Come on. Society's twisted when knowledge is nothing. Because knowledge used to be power. Now, what you know what power is now? Power is, is looking good. Remember? Cleanliness is close to godliness. I want to look like God. That costs money. Ooh, he got money. He look like God. Oh, this guy sitting there dressed up like a bum, talking all that shit. Don't make no sense to me. People being unified, 
You know, it doesn't make any sense. We're all unified already. Why are people talking about unity? Because we're not unity. We're not unified. We're not nothing. We're nothing at all. Because we don't respect each other. And those of you who don't have a video camera, but you are respectful, type some good shit on the bottom. Don't look at the video and say, no. I understand. Add your little two cents to it, too. Because if you can type, that was a great video, man. Go ahead and say, that was a great video. And the part that made me feel good was the part that reminded me of when my grandfather used to say stories and da-da-da-da-da. Or the part how, how you told about how people ought to help each other instead of hurting each other. And then after a while, you just be you used to getting help from everybody to where it would be easy for everybody to help each other. Tell people what makes you feel good about these videos. And when you discuss things, if you don't agree with something, say, hey, man, I don't agree with this part of this video. Instead of saying the whole video sucks and you're a good person, tell what you didn't like about the video and explain it. And if you can't explain it, then try to. If you can't spell, don't worry about it. There's spell check on there. You think they taught me how to spell? I can read. Can't spell. How that work? How does that work? How can somebody read something but can't spell something? How in the fuck does that work? Oh, mm. Illogical. It's illogical. So do the best you can. If you learn something from YouTube, pass it on. If you can only pass it on by sending a video to somebody else, send it to somebody else. Every single video that you see pass it on if you learn something from it. Every video you hear with the person at the end of the video saying pass it on, you pass it on if you know that person is being sincere. But just don't sit on it and wonder why. And if you don't have a video camera, you can still help pass it on. Hey, you know what? If you got something positive to say and you don't know how to explain it, you write it in the bottom of the thing. I have passed this on. This is moving on. Pass it on. It's on the way. Shit like that. We understand what you mean. This new pass it on thing is the easiest thing we can do. You ain't got to sign up for nothing. You ain't got to act like nobody. But if you got a camera... You pass it on. Because you can actually tell people which part of the videos to look at. See, a lot of people try to sometimes they'll write the time of when, you know, the part they like in the video. I like that now. I don't know how to do that yet. Because I'm a little old school. I'm still learning. And you know how I'm learning. I'm learning because somebody has passed knowledge on to me. And if I'm talking knowledgeable and there's any message to learn in anything that I say from now on out until next year, I guess, when I say we've moved on or, or when something else makes me change what I've done. So, like I said, I'm sorry for the people who are going to miss you've been tubed. But some people don't get, get the tube. But when I don't want the door slammed shut on somebody, I'm going to tell you to pass it on. So, Enjoy yourself. And man, I don't give a damn if you don't have no camera. You're a positive person. You let people know you're positive. You let people know what videos you watch. You pass it on. Hey, if we can bark every time. If you bark every time after we walk away. If we bark... If if you bark every time we walk away, it'll be like we planned it. So, um, I'll give you some money if you can bark on cue. See this? Bark, bark for that piece of chicken. Pass it on! Ruff! Ruff! Ha <laughs> he's so cute! You can't get it. You can bark for me, man. Get you. Chuck feet.